Hi guys, it's Lori. Today I want to talk about different spiritual experiences. A lot of people have been having dreams. So you can have a spiritual experience in the dream state, but you can also have it in the physical state. I have somebody here with me today that I want to talk to about about different experiences that she's had. Like I told you before, I've had several. I know that many people, especially recently, have had several, and you'll hear from her how her experiences have changed as of recently. All right, stay tuned. Hi guys, Lori again. This is my friend, Luella, and I just wanna ask her a couple questions. She's gonna tell you about her experiences lately. So you've had a couple different experiences with the good and the bad. Yes, absolutely. So um, do you want to talk about the bad first? And then Might maybe, as well do okay. the bad. We'll All right. Talk about the good after. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Just tell, tell us a little bit about yourself first and your connection to spirit and that kind of thing. You mean go back, way back, my life experiences and that kind of thing? You can, you can say a little bit about that. How do you, what are your belief systems and that sort of thing? Well, um, I, I came closer to God because I was dying like, uh, in my early 30s. Um, I got poisoned. Uh, my lungs got poisoned from a uh, chemical exposure. Um, and I didn't know if I was going to make it. I, so I called upon God. I gave him 100% to, to show me that he truly exists. And... I did that, and lo and behold, I saw little things, I saw big things, I saw a lot of things that he proved to me, <coughs> beyond a shadow of a doubt, that he does exist. And from there on, it pretty much changed my whole perspective of everything. God is good. God is wonderful, and God is real. So have you ever had any experiences with demons or negative energy? I have. Um, it was during sleep. But it was so real that I knew it was real. It wasn't a dream. Mm -hmm. um, I I dreamt that I was in this house and this negative entity picked me up and drove me up to the ceiling. And it scared me like you would imagine. And, and then he brought me down and then picked me up and was throwing me to the wall. And my first thought was, to call out to Jesus and I couldn't speak and I tried and I tried and I couldn't speak I couldn't say his name I couldn't say anything and um, and then uh, you know and he started to push me around more and then finally I said Jesus and the entity went away I was back on the ground and the house became peaceful all my friends were in different rooms, and we were all talking, laughing, having a wonderful time, and it was like nothing had ever happened. But when I woke up, you, you were seriously afraid because it felt real, because you knew it was real. It right. wasn't a dream at all. So, mm -hmm. And I think they can attack us in the dream state and the awake state, but in the dream state, we're more susceptible. We're I was going to say, yeah. are we more vulnerable? Right. Yeah, because we're unprotected. We're... Um, and, and that feeling of be, not being able to call out to Jesus, I've had that and I've heard other people talk about having that. And I think, I don't know if they do something to us to try to stop us or if it's the plain fear of it all, but when you finally get up enough nerve or whatever happens and you get that name out, it ends. It ends. It ends. Because it's something else similar happened to me. I don't remember the whole thing, but I do remember it was like a vacuum he was trying, like he was trying to suck my soul out of the top of my head, and they were pulling, and I was so afraid, and I tried to say Jesus again, and I couldn't get the words out. I couldn't say it, and I was so afraid, and then finally, when I said Jesus, and then it stopped. Yeah. It, just, it only proves that they bow to the name of Jesus. Exactly. But somehow they prevent you. In that, in that time, yeah. you can't even speak. You can't think it. Right. You can't do anything. And then, but boy, once you do, it all stops. Absolutely, it's like it goes away. Be and, gone. and I know there are people who are non-believers who say that it's all in our heads or whatever. But um, I know myself. I've had experiences 
before where I I can't say that I was saved at that point, but just calling out his name, his name is, is everything. It's a name above all names. It is. It really is. And Jesus is absolutely everything. Yeah, he really is. He is. Um, and that's part of my reason for making these videos. I want people to know. I want people to know how powerful God is, who he really is. He's yeah. the creator. Um, if you remove all blocks, all the stuff people block about, oh, yeah, I know God exists, and, you know, all these stupid little blocks. I gave him, I said, I'll give you 100%. And, and you know, and once you remove all those, even the little things of the, like uh, we were talking about the fumbling of the keys. You yes. Know, you're in a hurry to get out the door. And you're like, yo, damn, you know, ah, you know, and like pick up the keys. And you're like, I got to go. I'm late, you know. And oh, now I'm just like, I'm like, oh, my God. And to only find out there was an accident down the road. And had you have not been delayed that five seconds or whatever, you would have been involved in that accident. Right. And you could have been maimed or killed or whatever. It's he... stuff like that. You go, you know, there's another force that made that happen right right and that's when air, all the doors start to open up give him a hundred percent and don't you think that when you give him a hundred percent and you start to live your life guided by spirit and listening that even the bad stuff it doesn't not that it's not bad it still hurts and it's yeah but it, it's almost like knowing that you knowing that he's with you just makes it easier it makes it a lot easier and yeah that doesn't mean that your life is going to be smooth as silk right you know we got to go through what we have to go through to grow right you know and learn um but he helps you through it if you allow him to right you know and like a lot of us you know 10 years back we look back and we're much different people than we were then because of all the trials and things we've gone through and right. and see the ways how God comes and helps. It's just it's just awesome. It really is. Now recently we're in um we're in October two thousand sixteen. And recently I know for myself, through spiritual eyes, I see that the veil is getting thinner. Yeah. And a lot of people are experiencing supernatural experiences, even people that have no concept or you know, um and those of us that do see with spiritual eyes or that do have a knowledge of God or a relationship with God are really having experiences. Mm -hmm. And I know that I've seen some negative things, but you've been one of the lucky ones. Yeah, I don't want to see that stuff. And you have actually seen some positive things. Yes. Um, would you care to tell us about what's been happening recently, when it started, what's been going on? And Yeah. Well, yes, I've seen some pretty positive stuff, and I don't know what it is, but I see angels all the time. I can't recall when it really started. I think a few months ago, I'll say maybe a year. Okay. Time flies. Yeah. If I think six months, it's probably been a year. <laughs> you know, so, uh, but I see angels. I see them all the time. I see that every time I look up into the sky, they're everywhere. And what do they, what do they look like? Well, I don't see them close up. They look like, sometimes I see them as a green, like a green mist, a circle of green mist in the sky. And then if I stare at it, then I, I, I start to see them. And it looks like a white glowing cross in the sky. And there's tons of them. There are lots of them. Why am I starting to see them now? I really don't know. Is it? Because the veil is thinner, but there's a lot of them up there. Do you, do you believe? I believe that we have angels all around us. Yeah. As well as negative energy demons. Right. I, I believe that they walk beside us. Sometimes angels can take human form. Yep. The earth angels. Sometimes people act as angels for us. But I don't believe that those are true angels. I believe that those are people acting, you know, right. following the lead right, of God. Right. But I also believe that true angels can take human form because I think if we saw them in their natural form, we'd probably be terrified. Yeah. But I think you are seeing maybe, I don't know, if you're not meant to see it, you're not going to see it. So obviously God is showing you them for a reason. For a reason. But you say there's, see, I look where she's looking and I see nothing. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I see, see nothing. There's many of them right there. I don't know if any of you can see what she's seeing. I personally cannot. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel really ripped off. Because and that's <laughs> too bad because there's, there's like tons of them. Like they're, 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 they're everywhere. Yeah. And then they, we communicate. Uh, they know my thoughts. They know what I say to them. They they respond to me like from what I'm understanding. Uh, if we're communicating correctly, is I'll ask them a question, and if it's a yes answer, they'll fly around in a circle. Wow. If it's a no answer, they'll fly in a straight line back wow. and forth, back and forth. So, do you believe they're here for you personally, or do you think that they're here for a bigger purpose? Or do you think they've always been here and you just your eyes have been opened? Well, that is the million dollar three questions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Angels, are you here just for me? No. No, okay. I know that the world is, for the most part, a pretty evil place. And I do believe, like I just said, that angels have always been here. They've been here before we were here. And so have the fallen angels. I know the veil is getting thinner. I know some people believe it's the end, the rapture is going to come soon. I don't even pretend to know when the rapture is going to happen. I do believe the rapture will happen, though. But I know that this is an evil place, and I wonder if they're there, these specific ones that you're seeing are there as protection for a whole, or I don't know. But you usually see them up in the sky, right? I see them up in the sky, yeah. I don't see them as like beside you or right. anything like that. I see them in my room at night, but they're still up, like in my ceiling. Okay. Uh, if I close my eyes, I see them there as well. Hmm. Interesting. But they look like white crosses in the sky. It's very cool. But sometimes there's... And I've only heard of one other person, and, and I'm sure they're talking about just a still... Oh, right. I think I see an angel. I'm seeing angels that are flying around. I see them all. There's numerous, too many to count. And uh, and they're interacting with me. And, you know, sometimes uh, if I just wake up and I say, good morning, I love you, and they'll do like this. It's like they're dancing or saying hello. You know, they're re it's really cool. Now, I know that we had talked about this when you first opened up and told me it was happening. And you would ask me, how do you know? And I said, you know, the Bible says to test every spirit. And right. how you test them is to know if they will profess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And you did that, right? I did that. And you got a yes, he is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Absolutely, yes. I okay. just spun around in a circle. So, well, I just kind of pick one. And they know when I'm looking <laughs> at them. That's funny because there's a lot of them up there. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm praying that I can see one closer than I do. They do seem very close. Man, they can fly like crazy. Boy, it looks like a blast. <laughs> I just sit there and I watch them a lot of times, you know? It's yeah. just amazing. I don't... Why now am I seeing them? Right. Were they always there and I never noticed? Or is there a time... I'm, you know, I'm kind of full of those questions right. myself. Why right. am I seeing them? But they're... I can see them easily. They're well, maybe in prayer around. that that will be answered someday. I'm now, hoping one comes closer. Yeah, that and would I be, get a closer. Yeah, that would so be wonderful. We will do another video because yes. I'll be like, I, 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 I saw one close. Speaking of seeing one close, um, and I don't mean like an earth angel. I have had, an, I believe, an angel interaction when I was in a head-on collision. I believe that an angel came to me dressed in a police officer's uniform because when I went to look for him later, he didn't exist. Yeah. So I really believe that was an angel Absolutely. trying to keep me calm um, because I, w I had a head injury. But um, you had a friend that was facing an illness. In fact, she was near death, right? And yep. her and her husband both saw an angel in their house, didn't yes, they? Yes, they did. Yeah. Now, I try to talk to these people spiritually a lot, you know, when I can or whatever. And, um, you know, they really were like, oh, you know, they really didn't bite. But all of a sudden, one day, she was so sick, she had to go to the hospital. So we went to visit, and my friend was with her, and we're standing there. And they go, oh, Lou, we saw an angel. Oh, just, like, peaceful and, like, oh, by the way, I saw <laughs> And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, we saw an angel. And her, her soon-to-be husband, which is my friend who 
I've never heard those words come out of his mouth ever. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we saw her in Egypt. Yep, sitting on our couch. I don't know. We were, it was about two in the morning and something woke us up. And we just looked up. We were laying in bed and we could see our couch through the doorway there. And we we're like, somebody's sitting on our couch. So they both got up and they stood there and they looked at the couch and there sat an angel. The, and, you know, and it looked, I guess, she was just sitting there, the angel. Yeah. You know, and, and of course, my friend's fiancé was, had cancer badly, you know, and they just stared at her for like 15, 20 minutes. They just stood there. They weren't afraid. Yeah. They weren't, you know, anything. They just watched. And then after about 15 minutes, they said, well, okay, well, well, they went back to bed, and I can't <laughs> I can't wrap my head around that. You see an angel on your couch, and, you know, it's got to be the way the angel is I giving think it's off some, yeah, it's the, the energy. Feel. Yeah, That's right. And yeah. they felt at peace enough where they said, okay, there's right. an angel. <laughs> Obviously, the and, angel didn't want to be spoken to, or and it was. I'm sure it was the angel that put off that energy for them to just, okay, well, let's go back to bed. Yeah, yeah, and they're, of course, thinking on a positive light that it was a good thing. I personally thought it might have been Diane's guardian angel. Right. Waiting. And she was, and I believe the angel was tired. And that it was a sign that she, Diane was going to die. It's time for her to go. Yeah, and... And sure enough, that's what happened. How long after the angel incident did she pass over? Less than a month. Yeah. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows if the angel was there to carry her home or uh, for comfort for them both? Maybe yeah. to show them that God is real before she actually exited? I don't yeah. know. But of course, I'm trying to put myself in their shoes, and I would be like, I'd be like, oh, my God, i got to call everybody. Right. There's an angel on my couch. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, or, you know, but I wasn't there. You right. know, it wasn't right. my thing to see what it was for them. But they just said, told it to me as calm as if they were talking about another friend. And, you know, they're like, yeah, we saw an angel on our couch. And I'm like, what? You know, it wasn't an angel, I don't think. But I know years ago when I was still married, I've been divorced for... <laughs> too long, oh, 15 years, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't even think my husband and I, we were newly married. And he got up one night to go to the restroom. Went in the, Before he went in the restroom, he saw a man sitting in our ch rocking chair, looked at him, thought, oh, I must just be tired. Went into the bathroom, used the bathroom, came out, looked, the man was still there. He said he stared at him for a good 10 minutes. Didn't say a word, the man yeah. didn't say a word. And then he just went back to bed. He told me about this in the morning. And I said, why didn't you wake me up? What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he said, I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't speak to him. And I couldn't do anything except for go back to sleep. So I do think it's some sort of energy that they put off. Maybe that was an angel, too. I don't know. He didn't see him as an angel. He saw him as a man. But again, an angel. That's right. I think if we saw them, like I said, in their true form, it yeah. may be a bit frightening for us. Right, right, so, right. Um, well, that's why when I prayed that maybe one of these angels that I see all the time that would come closer. Yeah. Um, you know, and I hear in my head, you, you think you handle it. And I'm like, well, you guys know how to, you know, <laughs> just bring a calm one or something, you know. So um, yeah. I feel all peaceful and it's right. a wonderful thing. Right. You know, um, what I would love to see one close up. I mean, they're just so cool. And if anybody can relate to what I'm talking about because I've looked around. I mean, Doreen Virtue has said that that people have seen an angel, but I think it's a still form, like just a quick look. There's no, not, nothing about actually seeing thousands of angels in the sky flying around. Uh, so I'd like to know. Um, and she did discuss the greenish, smoky kind of cloud she referred to them as archangels okay but if, you said they come when you really focus they look as if they're a cross well if i well like i could see them right now you know as soon as i see them they start flying around and when they're flying around yeah it looks like a white cross of course i figure you know if, right if an angel looks like we believe it does right i mean it, far away it's going to look as this right. like white cross is yep. flying around constantly yep. 
they're always, always there. There's nothing I'm doing. I'm just waking up and going to bed. So they're constantly there, which makes me wonder, are they, like you said, were they always there and your eyes have just been opened? Are they here for our protection from the evil that's either here or about to come? Yeah. But you did test the spirit, and they did say Jesus Christ Absolutely. is Lord, so we have to believe that they're good. Like right now, that one has got a green cloud around it. It's flying like crazy. <sighs> you see, she's pointing to the sky. And yeah. again, if mm -hmm. anybody sees this in the video, I do not. So. Are you happy we're doing this video? Yes. Good. I'm glad. I, I think the angels, any angel truly of God would do anything to glorify God and they'd be happy about that. Yeah. And that's my purpose of doing this video. And like Lou said, if you have any kind of experience like this, if you have witnessed this or anything like it, please comment or message me because she's in search of somebody that may be experiencing the same thing. Yes. But, you know, God is definitely real. I knew that before, but wow, you know, they're amazing, and there's a lot of them, and they're beautiful. I know it's not negativity because I would feel that, I would think. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would probably feel like <laughs> I was a little mouse with a bunch of vultures up there going, ah. <laughs> but it's not. It's just beautiful. They're up there. They're real. They're, it's happening. God is real. They're there. I'm not sure why they're there. And why I can see them, I don't understand why at this time. Is it because the world is really crapping out here and the veil is getting thin? Or or is it something I'm supposed to do? I don't know. Well, I guess you'll, but they're you'll there. know in time, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so if anybody has had this kind of experience, please, please message or comment because she's really looking for somebody that may have experienced the same thing or something similar. Also, if you've had any other kind of experiences and you'd like to share them, please, please comment or message. We're here for you. If you need prayer, please feel free. When we say we're going to pray for you, we're going to pray for you. Absolutely. Um, and if you need to know about the Lord, if you have questions, um, if you're stuck in a place where you're unsure, please, please reach out. We're definitely glad to talk about Jesus anytime anybody needs to. Absolutely. So is there anything else you want to say? No, not really. Um, like she said, if anybody else has this experience, knows of somebody, please get a hold of Lori and, uh, Maybe we can figure this all out, but it's pretty cool. And if I do get to see one close up, we will make another video. Awesome. I'm sure I'll be filled with all kinds of information, you know. But awesome. it's pretty cool. But God is good. God is real. Please get close to God. Thank you, Lou. Thanks for talking to us. No problem. All right. Bye. Bye.